Hello, I'm Ed Trinitim and welcome back, of course, to Transport Fever 2, where we've set up some pretty decent industrial transportation lines. We've got our uh, four, I think it's four, right? Four trains set up over here. We've got our little boat set up down here. Boats over here, bringing all these bricks around. And you actually need like 50 bricks. You need 85 bricks. Wow. And what else have we got? Oh, yeah. Can't forget our ridiculous lumber line with this setup, which is just a mess. Uh, and it's all going pretty well. But I want to touch on something today that we haven't actually used yet. And that is buses, or specifically in this day and age, coaches. Because up until now, I've been mostly doing cargo stuff. And one of the first things I normally do when I start out is I actually do bus routes because they're reliably bringing some income. Not the most income, but they reliably do. It's just that we had a very lucky start with a lot of our shipping lines. And so we're going to be going up here and turning on the destination layer. And you see over here, we've got like seven people traveling through here, six, five, one, and then out of town, it's four, two, and then two up here. So we've got to find a good place for destinations. Like if we have a look here, four going across here, 10 in this road here, eight going up here. Oh, nice. Up to Greybury. Six continuing up to Revisionist. That's good stuff from Revisionist. Nine going out the top of Revisionist. Uh, and 18 coming out of Dahlgreen. Dahlgreen, damn, that's 24 right there. 25, 28. 24 going north out of... 32? Kijiston? Really? That's a lot of people. I didn't expect it to be quite so high. Um, five, seven, six. Okay, so... You know what? We could run a passenger train between these two. This is, this is passenger train number right here. Like, 24 is good. We'd have to have so many coaches to cover that. And then I guess we could then extend it later on down to... Revisionist done or something. Hmm. Yeah. So first things first, what we'll do is we'll set up a bus route inside the city. And then we'll run something between here and Revisionist and it might end up being something like a passenger train. Just because of those numbers. Oh, sorry, not Revisionist and uh Kijistan. Those numbers, that's gotta be a passenger train. We could do coaches, but because our coaches in this day and age are like, hey, four people? It might take longer, because that's going to take a while, because they're really slow. Really slow. So, bus lines. Easy peasy. Bus tram stop. And we'll dump a bus tram stop several places in the city to just provide enough access. You can see that things are lighting up. I'm actually going to turn off the destination layer so you can see. There we go. Also, I normally do a bus depot in the town as well, like an actual station as opposed to a stop. A station, like, they come off the road, they go into the station, and then they're not blocking the road, which can be a problem. Whereas with a tram stop, they kind of all bump into each other and stay there. So... We need to place this somewhere. And this is also very useful if we're going to do Intercity, as in as opposed to intracity. Intercity bus routes. Uh, and we'll probably have a bus route going down to Revisionston anyway, even if we end up passenger training it up to Kitchiston. And if we are gonna passenger train it, we'll probably want the passenger train near the bus stop. So we want to be able to provide access to some of these. You know what? What we can do is have a look here at destination. 12 people work in Thanian, 6 people shop there. 17 people shop in Kijistan, 18 people work there. Fourteen. So it's work and shopping. So there is a combination. Okay. Right. That means people who are coming here are coming here to shop and work, which is these two. Work, industries, and machines. Shopping is tools. People come here to shop for tools, apparently. 
people who are leaving here are leaving from the residential. So we just kind of want the central. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll probably end up squishing some existing houses, and I kind of feel a bit bad about that. But that is the price of good transportation networks. And here might be good. The thing is, this isn't going to save this large. Like, eventually we're going to make this bigger. Like, we can have more platforms on the left and right. And we will do. Because what I want is, on one side, all of those are going to be intracity ones. So, like, your bus route that goes around the residential district, that goes around industrial district, etc. And then on the other side, I want the bus lines that go to other cities. Now, from here, we probably go one, two, and three or two if we end up running that as a passenger city. So, uh, not a passenger city, a train passenger city. You know what I mean. So this is actually going to get a lot bigger as we expand it. So it might be better to try and put it over here. What if we put it there? Mm. No, I want to do the shopping as well. We'll put it. We'll put it over here somewhere, like actually in the city. That is a lot of money to destroy buildings. Okay. So I think what we'll do is. Um, this is the main road, right? Okay, we'll put it on the main road, because this is a road that comes in that people are going to take in and out. If we put it here... Oh, we end up squishing everyone. We won't be near the train station either. We can't do that because curvature too much? God damn it. Okay. Probably don't need it to be this fancy. We could maybe limit the platforms on the left to one. Which would be a lot less. Yeah, let's do that then. And I think, can we fit it in here without squishing? Oh, we'll end up squishing some houses either way. Okay, put you there. Right. And the left is going to be internal, the right is going to be external to the city. Now, we're also going to need bus tram stops. And I think what we do is we do one loop, two loop, three loop, effectively making a loop for the residential, a loop for the commercial, and a loop for the industrial. So we'll probably do them clockwise, anti-clockwise, so the outside, because I think, where's our industrial stuff? We've got some industrial ones down here. Nope, wrong one. I'm turned around now, here. Where's yours? Oh no, yours is a counterclockwise one. Yeah, so this is going to be clockwise because I want them to go in the opposite like circle. I don't know if that's making sense. It's making sense to me, which probably isn't helping. So these are going to go clockwise. So residential. I think we'll come out of there. Actually, no, if we do that, they'll have to cross the road. Yeah, because they are on the right. So actually, we'll do counterclockwise anyway, so it doesn't matter. One there. One there. I do want to expand down these streets as well. So we'll have to just circle around and come back. And there. And then... back this way. And that should do the entire residential area. Now for the commercial, we'll probably do the same sort of thing. As you come out of here, you turn across traffic. You'll actually end up going the other way around. 
Uh, we'll put a stop in here. Put a stop in here, because I want them to, you know, expand down here as well. Uh, we've got a truck stop there. Do we need to provide anything here? Uh, yeah, I guess we will actually. We'll put a bus stop here and we'll have it come back around into there. That should work. Now, for the industrial, probably just go straight up here. This is probably going to end up going clockwise. Yeah. So much for having a hard and fast roll. Up there. Here. 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 And then back in. That should work. Right, let's set this up as a line. Uh, this is going to be a mess, but... One. Do we want to stop here? Oh, this is very close by. Feels like a waste. We'll go here. 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 And here. Right. And that is our residential route. So we're going to call this uh, Road Passenger Dahlgren. So there we go. And then this is residential. Res. Okay. New line. And this one comes out of here and goes down this way. So one, two, three, four, five, and in there. Yep. Oh crap, missed this one. How do I move one up? Can I move you up? I don't think I can. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. And you're going to be RP Dahlgren uh, commercial. And then new line. This is going to be industrial. Something like that. I think. Although why we haven't got one on this area is confusing me. I guess we'll get rid of seven there. We can move that. Why haven't we got one on this? Hmm. Oop. And then add station. There. Right, that should work. And we'll call you RC. Dahlgren uh, Indus or Ind Oh, no, not RC RP To use to cargo Right, I'm actually going to click the I Limit it to things that we can see And we're going to need a depot Luckily we have one nearby Right, buy vehicles now, we could use the stagecoach, or we could use the L'Oblissiant. It's, it's French. It's a bus. It's a steam bus. That's great. It takes an extra person. It's got more power. But it also has 10 more emission. And emissions do cause negatives to towns, so I'm not really sure I'm going to go for that. Like, it's got more power. Great to get up hills, but the speed is the same. So I think we'll just go with the stagecoach. It's also far cheaper. Like, it's extra 800 a year for the steam bus. So 
We'll grab, I think... Initially, we'll just grab six for each line, and we can then play with them as we need to. Uh, all of you, I'm just going to sell, because we can afford to buy them again. I would leave them here, but... Eh. We'll put you on residential. Industrial. And commercial. Go. Fly. Uh, one thing I will actually do is I'm actually going to color you according to the line. I wish I did this automatically, personally. And then, what's the other one? Commercial. Lovely. Uh, I'm not sure I actually colored the... You properly, did I? I guess it's just your default color. And yes, this is going to cause slight issues of congestion along here. But they're only temporarily going down this road. I'm also tempted to expand this road because... It's got some congestion issues already without buses. And this is going to be a main arterial road. So... Grab a street. Large four-lane street. That's going to be so expensive. Oh, wow. That would cost two million to upgrade. Damn. Ugh, our bus station's too close in. I'm tempted to move this bus station. Configure. Would we be able to? <sighs> we might be able to delete this road and then just rebuild it. That's what we might have to do. I wish you could move it just a little bit. That's going to cost a lot of money, though. Still, that should help a bit. And you see we're actually getting passengers starting to wait. How many have we got here? 17 at that stop. And here the coaches are coming in. For now, we will have them each use a different terminal. Eventually, they're all going to be using Terminal 1, as this is out of town. Or maybe it should be the other way around. Maybe out of town should be the one that doesn't get many people. Uh, no, it's going to be very busy, the out of town one. Okay. Still got 17 people waiting there. Six over here. 13 down there. Twenty-three now. Let's look at the day in the life for cab. Hello. Oh, you can see the guy inside. Is it just the one guy, or is is that one guy? That is one guy who just happens to be pushing through the back there. Is he the driver, or is he also a passenger? I think he was a passenger. Okay. Dear Lord, how many people are on this? 31. What? That's just the industrial line. Let's look at the uh, the income report. RP, they're sewing they're saying they're getting negatives right now? I think that's gonna change. 
Especially with that industrial line. It's a good job this is a four-lane road here. Because it means that everyone else is basically getting a chance to pass as we're picking up passengers. This road here should really be a four-lane, though. We have enough money now, though. Let's let's do it. Boop. Can't can't grab that. Okay. That sucks. Okay. You're making my construction not possible. I'm not enjoying that. You know what I think we have to do? We just delete that. And then start from scratch. There we go. And then rebuild it. All right, this is a this is an object lesson in pre-planning. Funnily enough, because you were the first on the list, we can actually add you. Oh, wait, have you oh, have you automatically added yourself back? What? That's so cool. That is really. I, that's a really well implemented feature. Look at that. It's just added the stop back. Everyone's coming into terminal one, which, you know, we'll trial. I'm fine with that. Now, of course, a lot of the coaches are going to get very confused from the pathfinding because they were planning on doing certain things. 37 people there now. I will bite the bullet and pay like the ridiculous amount of money because we are making money hand over fist right now. I don't know why you're in there. You're a tool cart. Okay, you're getting some money there. We should be making money on the industrial line. Yeah, we are. Okay. Industrial and residential are making good money. The commercial one, not so much, but we can always switch some of the people off the commercial line. We could tell them to wait until full, but that would cause issues of all the other buses starting to back up behind them, depending on, like, where the people are waiting or not. So it's probably not a good idea. Okay, and... Give me a little more money. Having a four-lane, like, road in 1880, it's got to be pretty prestigious, right? Little mama... You know what? I'm just going to... I don't need to go with your rules. Oh, and I can just repay that. Okay. Oh, hello. A little bit of backing up there. And that's 32 people waiting. We need to sort that. Okay. You aren't making many people happy here. You've got like 9, 8 out of your 24 capacity. That said, you're running at 10. And this is the industrial one where we know there's demand right here. Seven? Really? I guess we'll put people on the residential line. 
So we're going to manage vehicles and we'll take two of you and we'll put you on the residential line. And temporarily, I'm going to put you on the other terminals. There we go. This just seems to be an odd terminal. Maybe we should add the uh, the residential going through here or something as well, because the residential does take a very similar route, I think. Hmm. Right. Now that's done, we can add an intercity one as well. And I'm thinking we go to Revisionistan, but we could go to Fanian. Fanian is very close. Hmm. Also, how many tools are we producing? 200. Well, we could produce 200. We could provide you with so much more wood. Mm, yeah, we're keeping up vaguely with production. Yeah, it's not worth doing any changes to here, but I was going to say if we could take some of the tools back to Fanion if we ran it via a different route, because we used to be running through Dahlgreen over to Fanion and back, which is a bit of a waste for everyone who goes to Dahlgreen, dumps their tools and is like, hey, what do I do now? So I think we'll set up that intra-city bus route to Fanion, just because I do want to make Fanion a little bit bigger, give you a bit of a buff. Let's look at the destination chart. So yeah, there are... 10 and 12 people come in here. Well, going from here. We could maybe run this with two loops. I'm thinking like a loop round here and a loop round here. Uh, we'll also probably want to expand. Do we want to expand some of these? It might be a bit expensive right now. We could do it, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add some streets on. There we go. Oh, no. Just give them a bit of room to expand. Uh, and then probably... Oh, hello. Did some expanding by itself. Oh, no. Let's get a nice straight line going. That's not straight, but that'll do. And then I'll also probably expand this. To that. Don't know what to do about this one. Like, we'd have to probably just destroy a building. That's fine. I can destroy that one building. That should give it... Pretty good framework to expand. You see Dahlgren's just eating everything in the framework. Like, hi Dahlgren. Have some more room to expand. Put some sort of weird little section in like that so they can actually build houses around there. And yes, I will delete your house. Sorry about that. Oh! Hi! Yeah, they, they did the thing. Right, that should be plenty. Do, 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 do. We will need... Building... Bus station. And we'll only go for two internally. We'll leave one externally for now. And you can provide... And remember, we want to keep this far enough away from the edge that we can expand later on. We might want to be a bit further towards the edge of town, though. I'm thinking, what about here? No, that doesn't get enough provision. Oh, that does, actually. Just about. Yeah, we'll go with here. And then we'll add stops and 
I think we're going to go this way around the industrial area. Uh, if it expands, we'll have to make some adjustments, but for now... Yeah, we'll leave that off for now. That's a pretty simple one. And then we'll also probably want one that comes out of here. Oh, multiple poor conditions. We are not taking good care of our vehicles. Some of them have been running for a very long time. And then... Back to here. Okay. New line. Which side of the road are you? Nope. Bam, bam, bam. I guess that one's pretty easy. Uh, and then we want one that goes bam, 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 bam. This one's a little bit longer. Okay, it's quite long. Might be better served by having separate routes. Like one round here and one round here. Ah, oh, well, we'll leave it for now. We can always adjust this later. I might adjust in between episodes. Uh, your road passenger, Fay, and then industrial. And then your road passenger, Fay, and then residential. And technically commercial. But that's not quite so big here. We'll grab you. We'll buy. And in this case, we only probably want to buy like four. Fafanian Residential, and then probably only three Fafanian Industrial. But the Pièce de la Résistance, uh, once I actually set you up to terminals, whoops, there, is a new line going from Central Dahlgren all the way over to Central Fanian. And this is Road Passenger, Dahlgren, Tufanian. It's a long road. But, because of the fact that it's a pretty well-traveled road, and it's a long road, I think we should grab quite a few people for it. I think we'll grab eight to begin with. We'll probably up that much more. Where is it? Hi there. Now, question is, will we start seeing people waiting for this? Yep, that's a terminal one. Oh, we've actually got people waiting already here. Just one, just this lady. Hi, lady. Oh, hello, man. The man is also waiting. Excellent. And there are a couple people waiting over here as well. Oh, three people waiting. Ah, I will... paint you all this very beautiful grey brown colour. Ugh. Mmm. It's the colour of victory. Also money. Okay. How many people are waiting now? That's actually a good amount of people waiting. Eight. How about the other side? Nine. Yeah, we're gonna need more coaches. All right. Where are we waiting for that coach? Here we go. How many people are waiting now? 
14. 13, 14. Okay. We might need more coaches. Yep, that's a popular line. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. We're gonna let you do your journey. Let's see how much you make. You're actually maxed out on the number of people on board. And turn. There we go. What's the view like? Bye bye. Can we get like a shotgun view? Shotgun! Hi. Hello? Doing the same run in the other direction? Nice. Hello. Meow. Meow. Notice that those little horse and carts, the single uh, single horse, single cart, like, are quicker than us. They're actually catching up to our coaches and getting stuck behind us. I don't feel bad. They don't make me money. Alright. Who's inside this one? A lot of top hats. Okay. This weird loot baggage pram thing on the back. Alright, let's slow her down. We're coming in. I want to see how much we get paid for this one. Like, obviously the operating costs are quite high because you're going a long, long way before you actually get to do a sale. But... $6,246. That's pretty good. And we have 27 people waiting here. Oh, dear. 37 people waiting here. I don't think we can solve this with coaches. Like, I could put a lot of coaches on the road. Eight is way too few. I probably need to put another 16 on the road. You know what? Short term, I will put another 16 on the road. But this was one of our less traveled lines. Kijistan has far more people wanting to come down and vice versa, you know. So I think we're going to need to do that passenger train. Kind of spelt, like, kind of put them in a bad light. But I think we need to. Also, the Dahl Green Industrial Line is just nuts right now. Why are you losing money? You're basically like, hey, feigning industrial, oh, feigning industrial and feigning residential. Right. It is a lot quieter area, and I don't think you've been there for a very long time. So you probably haven't done many routes yet, so that's unfair to judge. What about you guys, though? Not you, 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 you. There we go. Dahlgren. Yeah, Dahlgren residential is making 18.7k. Fanian. Yeah, commercial to uh, industrial 8.8. .8. The Dahlgren Fanium route is already making good money. That's, and still, that's not as much money as our cargo is making. That's why I generally am like, eh, bus routes. But they can help grow a city. And when you grow a city, they need more stuff. Look at that tool supply need. 167. What? 73 shop in Fanian and 80 work there. What? That was that the case before? I don't feel that was the case before. 50. 50. This route is 50. 51. What? And it crashed. It crashed with my incredulity. I think this is a good place to end the episode. Uh, I'll have to redo whatever we missed off, off screen there. But uh, 
Yeah, I think next episode we do passenger trains everywhere. We actually saved up a lot of money there. We'd like up to eight, nine million. So passenger trains, that's going to be a thing. I've been at Elysium. Like, subscribe. Until next time, stay shiny.